Okay, so last video we talked about how titrations um, help you to figure out like an unknown molarity, like um, say you have this acid and you just don't know the molarity, but you at least know you have 25 mils of it as a volume. Um, you can use something with a known molarity like two, and like you know that took 25 mils to say, oh, if they take the same amount, this must also have a molarity of two. So it's using a known or a standard um, to figure out your unknown. Um, <clears throat> so we do have a formula for this. Um, we basically just use a ratio. Um, again, we used a burette. That was that long thing that uh, the um, base known base dripped out of just so we could know exactly how much we were adding at a time. All right, so a formula for this is basically just a ratio between the molarity of the acid and volume of the acid to the molarity of the base and the volume of the base. So we already looked at when it was equal, but you'd basically be saying like, okay, well, if the molarity of the acid is unknown, MA, and the volume of the acid, okay, well, I know that. I can measure how much I have. It's 25. The molarity of the base, I know that. I'm using a standard that I know. Be quiet. Uh, mommy's doing a video. Um, and the volume of my base, once I dripped it in from that burette, okay, it took 50 mils. So in my head, I'm thinking, well, if it took twice as much base, maybe that acid is twice as strong. But I'm not sure, so let me do the math. Um, 2 times 50 is 100. Um, <clears throat> this is MA is like my X, so I can either make it MA or X. 25 times X is 25X. Um, I want to get rid of, get X alone. So whatever, uh, right now I'm multiplying by 25. So I'll do the opposite and divide by 25. Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. So it turns out that the molarity of my unknown base, you need to be quiet, mommy's doing work. It's 15 minutes, okay, quiet. Um, the, un, the molarity of my unknown acid turns out to be four, which is twice as much as the base, which makes sense because it took twice as much base to neutralize it. So it must be that this is twice is strong. So it's just a ratio between acid and base. Um, so there's just this kind of logical formula that compares the two. Um, you might be able to do it in your head until you get to kind of harder numbers and then that's when you kind of want this formula. So we're going to do this practice problem now for when the numbers get a little bit more tricky. Okay, so if it takes 54 mils, like that's a volume, but I don't know what of what, of 0.1 molar, okay, that's of molarity, of NaOH. Okay, that's the base. So those two numbers must have been like volume of base and molarity of base, MB and VB. Um, to neutralize, okay, that's kind of my clue that I'm using this titration um, formula, MAVA equals MBVB. Uh, there's another volume that must be, okay, that's my acid. What is the concentration or molarity of that like unknown? Uh, HCl. So I'm just going to plug in everything I have. MA, that's what they're asking for. VA, the volume of my acid is 125. So again, these numbers are a little bit more tricky, so I do need the formula. MB is 0.1 molar, and VB was that 54. All right, so X times 125 is 125X. Um, 54 times 0.1 is, these are like in parentheses, is 0.54. And then I want to get X alone. Right now it's multiplied by 125, so I'm going to divide it by 125. And the answer is, oops, sorry, 0.1 times uh, 54 is not 0.54, it's 5.4. And then when you divide that by 125, you get a molarity of 0.0432. And that is my answer. Let's see if it makes sense. So my base was a 0.1 molar, and I used 54 mils of it. My acid, I needed more of the acid to neutralize the base. So I'm thinking the base is stronger because you don't need as much of it to neutralize this much acid. So it kind of makes sense that my acid is only 0.04 while my base is a 0.1. So it makes sense that the base would be stronger. So I think my answer is good.
So here's one more molarity problem that tends to confuse people because it's an old molarity problem. And now that you learned um, like this MAVA stuff, you kind of want to use that all the time. But you have to remember there was also that molarity formula that said molarity equals moles of solute. And both these formulas are on the reference table over liters of solution. Okay, so when I read this question, what's the molarity? So I'm like, ooh, MAVA, I'm going to use that, of a solution that, be, that contains 0.5 moles of KNO3 dissolved in 0.5 liters. So now that I'm seeing like number of moles of solute and number of liters of solution, I'm like, oh, this is not an MAVA problem. This is a molarity equals moles of solute over liters of solution. So don't forget you have this other molarity formula. So molarity equals moles of solute, so that's 0.5 moles over liters of solution, that's 0.5 liters of solution. So 0.5 divided by 0.5 is 1. So that is my molarity answer. So what makes this problem up here, uh, so that was, uh, I can just kind of look at the formula and go, okay, they want molarity and they're giving me moles and liters. That's what's in that other molarity formula. Um, what makes this one different up here is that um, they gave me a uh, volume and molarity of a base and then a volume of an acid with an unknown um, molarity of that acid. So you have to look at the givens and say, okay, they gave me molarity of a base, volume of a base, molarity, uh, volume of an acid. So that must be using that formula. Where this one, they gave me moles and liters, so I'm going to use that moles over liters um, formula. So when you're doing titration, right on the reference table under um, titration, acid-base titration, here's this formula and you use um, a known base, you drip it in and watch the color change to figure about an unknown acid molarity.